So I kinda made a Minecraft clone, but it's neither 2D nor 3D. It's complicated. You might wonder how I got here, so let's start from the beginning. Minecraft is probably one of the most iconic games to clone. I didn't think I would make one myself, but I kind of accidentally stumbled upon this project. It was a Friday, and my brother mentioned a particular game called Fess. That's about it. The day after is Saturday. Being a Saturday, I thought, hey, that game has some really cool mechanics. I'm gonna try to recreate it with the Unity game engine. I mean, it's Saturday after all. After a while, I realized, wait. What if I made Minecraft in this style? I had actually recently started playing Minecraft again, and after watching Sam Hogan and Steven's videos, I thought, this is it. We have reached peak Minecraft clone innovation. I mean, what hasn't been done already? Floppy physics Minecraft, blockless Minecraft, M-rated Minecraft, C++ Minecraft. Just after thinking it's all been done, this very unusual idea was handed to me on a silver plate. Minecraft, but you can change dimensions. So I programmed. I programmed like I've never programmed before. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, some days were not very productive. Anyway, before I show you how I made the game, I wanna show you guys how it works. And what is a better way than to ask my friend to play it? Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hey, Smoothie Buns, do you wanna try a game I made? Absolutely, send it over. Oh no, is this another Minecraft clone? That's cool dog, and it's 2D, that's nice. But I think it's gonna need a little bit more spice. I mean, yeah sure, I can make a tiny house. Get up in a desk and like my name was Mickey Mouse. And I'll admit, it's pretty fun to jump around, busting blocks, making towers out of all these cobble rocks, but hey, I got a question about the two dimensions. I'm wondering if there's something else you forgot to mention. Smoothie bots, listen here, I'm about to blow your mind. Try it, tippy tappy tappy on the arrow keys. Now, I tapped on the arrow keys. Mm -hmm. Okay, another dimension, that's a pretty cool invention And my brain is tripping, trying to comprehend it And I mentioned that it's super effective, gives a new perspective I wanna see the code like a computer detective So could you, could you please explain to me how you did this? Thank you, Smoothie Buns. Uh, sure, I will show you how it works Hey, by the way, Smoothie Buns has a YouTube channel, check it out Dude, the physics were so confusing to program at times I mean how do I even start explaining how the logic works? If it's confusing to watch, then, well, trust me, figuring out how to program this was also very confusing. I have some good news though. A programmer who worked on the Fest game actually have an article explaining how this works. So let me try and explain how it works. The world is actually fully 3D dimensional, but the physics only occurs in two dimensions. By rotating the world, the axis which the player moves changes. Now the camera that looks at the player is orthographic. That means we have no depth perception. So if you were to move the camera closer or further away from the camera, nothing visually changes on the screen. Comparing the actual world view on the left to the game view on the right, it seems like the player is teleporting around. But in the game view, everything seems fine. In the background, we can see the actual physical representation of the world. As you can see, it's a 2D grid. When we shift perspectives, this 2D representation of the world is generated. It goes through the entire 3D world, and the first block the camera sees, that block is put into the grid. This was quite the pain to program, and the code is pretty ugly. Anyway, I think that's the best I can explain it without boring you guys. So yeah, let's say it's magic. That may sound more logical. Okay, we got some magic physics. But how did I create the graphics? I mean, I'm a programmer, and we all know programmers can't do art. Well, you see, blocks! I took the default blender cube, and I changed the UV map so I could have three textures. Top, bottom, and side. I barely know how to use Blender, but a friend who does helped me out. Now, to get the actual Minecraft character Steve into the game, I don't want to spend an entire day figuring out how to do 3D modeling, so I junked Polymorse's model that he open-sourced for a video he made. Thank you very much! 
Polymorphs wrote some code that actually fetches real Minecraft skins. So let me just... Hello dreams, hello green... Oh, oh, oh wait... Uh, nothing to see here. Clearly all skins works perfectly without any bugs. Alright, sweet! The core mechanics are in the game. You can place, you can break, you can jump. Uh, but if you think I'm going to implement crafting, well, I did. But it's the worst thing in the world. You can make logs, that's it. Creating the actual 2D crafting grid in Minecraft shouldn't be too hard to implement, but it will probably take me one or two days to do. And you know, the purpose of this entire project was to make a fest game. That turned out to be a Minecraft game. It was supposed to be a Saturday side quest project. I didn't expect to take it this far. So, this is pretty much it. You can break blocks, pick them up, you can jump off into the abyss, you can change dimension, that's all! Uh, oh, and you can craft planks. And cosplay as dreams. It's a nice little prototype that I'm not gonna spend more time on, probably. This was supposed to be a tiny experiment. If you wanna try this game out yourself, you can on my itch.io page. You can play it right in the browser without downloading it. I know it's a basic. While we're at the topic of Minecraft, you should check out my other YouTube channel, Ton Ton, where I just released a Minecraft Hardcore video. I might have some similar videos coming up soon, so subscribe so you don't miss that. Goodbye! Also, thanks for the buns for embarrassing my rap skills, beating pure gold with a strap on a capital stick, fighting on a pig with a lava soul, slaying that summer and I get on fire mob spaghetti. <laughs> Boom! Ah, sorry, I just wanted to also rap. Check out Smoothie Buns, link in the description.